Hello everyone, in this video we're going to do a quick VI and Vim tutorial. It's just going to be a really quick crash course, uh, five minute intro to it for people who don't know how to use it. So with that said, it's not complete, um, but be sure to subscribe to the channel and like, comment, and all that stuff. And here we go. So it, first open your terminal, and then you'll want to open up the VI or Vim by typing VI and then the name of the file that you want to open and if we don't have a file you can just create one so we'll go ahead and create one example.txt and so and then hit enter and that will open up VI and so there's several different modes with Vim there's insert and there's visual and uh, I believe there's some other ones uh, normal um, and you're only going to be able to do things that that mode enables when you're in that mode so I believe you start out in normal mode and the first thing we'll want to do is add some text to this file and so you need to enter insert mode and you can do that one of two ways you can either type A or I so I'm going to type in I for insert and then now if we try to type we'll be able to type so um, I will enter insert mode and then you can type you can still use the arrow keys to go up and down, but that's not really um, how Vim works. So if you want to get out of insert mode, let's uh, go ahead and do that. So if you hit escape, that will put you back in normal mode. And so again, you can use the arrow keys to move up and down, but that's not how you're supposed to do it. You're actually supposed to use H, J, K, and L. So H will move you by default to the left. So you can see our cursor moving over to the left while we're in uh, normal mode. And then L is over towards the right. And then J will take you down and K moves you up. And the benefit of this is all of the keys to move around are on the home keys. So you don't actually have to move your fingers over to the arrows to move around. And that's the benefit is it makes it faster to um, to move around the file so um, that's basically in a nutshell VI um, and then there's also some other commands that you can do like visual like entering visual mode so let's say we want to copy this text you can do that by hitting V while, or while you're in normal mode if you hit V then you end up in this little insert mode so or visual mode so if you want to copy and paste this first line everything that's highlighted is going to be uh, copied if we hit Y that will yank it and then we can go down to the bottom of the file and then we can hit P and that will add it or that will copy it or paste it um, to the file so then if we wanted to copy the whole thing we could hit shift V and copy the whole line and then if you wanted to go down again use J to go down. So then we can copy all of that and then we can paste it again. Then if you want to save the file, once make sure you're in normal mode by pressing escape and then you press colon and W which will write the file. And then you can see that we've got example.txt right here. And there's some other really cool things you can do. It, it, it's really like a, an entire framework and that's why people like VI, VI and Vim so much. So like, let's say you want to go to the end of the line. You can see my cursor is right here, but if I type shift and then four for the dollar sign, then it just pops over to the end of the line. If I need to go back to the beginning, I just type zero and it goes back to the beginning. And then you can also, so like L will take us to the right, but if I do five L, it'll take me over five characters at once. If I want to go up five lines, K is up, so if I got 5K, then I'm up five lines. And then if you want to go to the bottom of the file, you can type in Shift G, and it'll take you to the bottom. And then if you type little, two little Gs, it'll take you all the way to the top of the file. So there's a bunch of really cool stuff that you can do with uh, VI and Vim. And one more thing here, let's do a quick search function, or uh, use a search function. So I'm going to enter insert mode and type in cat, C-A-T, and then maybe a cat here, and then maybe a cat here, and 
uh, and then now we'll search for cat, right? So I'm up here at the top, and if you type in the slash sign, and then the search term that you're looking for, if you hit enter, it'll take you to the first instance of whatever you searched for, and then an N will take you to the next instance, and if you do shift N, it'll take you backwards. So that's searching. So if you want to search for something very specific, like how about J-A-E-H, then we've got that. And then I've got, you know, five or six time or instances of J-E-A-H. So that's basically searching. And then finally, when you want to quit, uh, you can do colon Q. And it'll say you want to you know you've made some changes so let's go ahead and save those changes with colon w and then colon q we'll quit there's one more command that i forgot to do and so let's go ahead and type some stuff hello there how are you okay so we'll go ahead and exit back into normal mode and then if you want to undo that change you can type u for undo and then if you want to redo that change or undo the undo, you can press control R. So control R uh, will redo and then U will undo. So that's it. So that's a very basic introduction to VI and Vim. And I highly encourage you to check out the documentation and there's also a blog post associated with this video that goes into more detail and I'll have another video soon that goes over like the entire you know a lot more about what vim can do but uh, this is just meant to get you started hey everyone hope you enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the website truthseekers.io for more tutorials and recommended books and other stuff so have a good day see you later